Hi friends, it's Belly Gemma Nails, and today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. I thought, why oh, spend the evening playing? He loves me, he loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. And let's just get to embellishing shoes. Customize them to your own personal style. If you want to learn how to do them, just stay tuned. Okay, so this is what we're going to use to embellish the shoe. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing. I'm inserting some index cards because we're going to be spray painting the top part of the petals, but not the bottom. And since it's round, just creating a fan there to protect the bottom. So now what we're going to do is spray paint it with gold paint. Make sure you're a safe distance, ventilated area. Give it a few coats, let it dry, and then spray paint it again. Once this is done drying, you can take out the index cards here. And you can see the contrast between the gold and the silver. I'm still going to embellish that, but you can see what it looks like there. So this is how they look side by side. We're not done with the embellishing process, but I wanted you to get an idea of what they look like. So what I did is I covered this in foil, and I'm going to spray paint this part of the petals with white satin paint. Okay, friends, so what we're going to do now is the flower is almost complete, and this is a metal flower with a magnetic back. And you can color it any color you want, but in this case, I wanted a gold with white design. Okay, what I'm going to do next is bring in the center part of the flower. Now these are some domed embellishments. You could use earrings if you wanted. You could use any kind of jewelry. Buttons. In this case, these are domed because the flower itself has already a center that has a design, but I'm going to just glue the embellishment on top to finish the flower. Okay. So that one there is gold, this one is silver, and they're not identical, but I wasn't looking for it to be identical. You could see that, how those look. The pearl matches perfectly with the white base. It's a white satin base, and then it has a metallic gold on top. So we're going to glue it. At this point, you're going to find some kind of weight that you can put on top of each one of the flowers to hold the embellishment in place so that it can securely stay on overnight. So after you have allowed the center embellishments to dry, what you're going to do, or what I did in this case to add dimension to this flower is, I sponge painted gold to the outer leaves there. So you could see that that just adds some dimension. Now, I used a sponge just like this, which I spray painted with this metallic paint. I'll put the links below so you all know what I used. And I took the flower and I gently pressed it against every petal edge until I got the look and the width I wanted. You could see it's not perfectly painted because that's not what I wanted. Okay, I just wanted it to be sponge painted, which looks beautiful. The next step and final step for the actual em embellishments is we're adding some crystals to the petal, the white petals, I should say, just one tiny 
crystal, which isn't really that tiny. This step is optional, but you could skip it. I wanted to add crystals to the center of the white flower. Now make sure you look at the design in whole so you can determine where the stones should go and they should peek out through the petals. You could see there how they look. Let everything dry and remember that the glue will frost these stones so you'll take some acetone and lightly rub them on top without rubbing the white paint from the base. Okay, once <clears throat> your flower is dry overnight, you're going to be adding chain dangles to the flowers, okay? And what we're gonna do is I've already measured one set there. Measure the other chain for the other flower. Now we're going to work with these tiny little jump rings and we're going to fit the chain through them on each side. Now that you have set up your chains, we're going to turn the flower over and we're going to put glue in the center part of each one of these two petals because that's where we're going to lay the chains. Make sure the glue is on top of the jump ring. Let that dry. Now that I glued the chains onto the flowers and they're dry, the next step is to adhere the flowers to the shoe. Now, for this project, I decided to go with a red velvet shoe because I wanted the bow to be a focal point, but I wanted the flower to basically just steal the show. And I wanted it to be white and gold along with the red with the dangly chain here. So let's glue the flower. That's the last step. I like the idea of just permanently adhering it, but you could do it with any flower. You could paint it any color you like. You could embellish it however you'd like, but this is what I had envisioned with the chain. Make sure that the petals are lined up with the bottoms of the bow because you want the chain accent to dangle perfectly. Now you will have to place something on top to add weight to this charm so it can stick on properly. Keep in mind you could always embellish this if you weren't going to make the bow the focal point. You can't have it uh, be embellished here and then also embellish this. This, is, this will be a little too much. So look at the shoe, determine where you want the focal point to be, whether it's the strap, whether it's the back of the shoe or the bow. I thought it'd be perfect to embellish this bow because it's very simple, but it's also very elegant. So I thought this would just add an extra element of pop, which it did. So these are the shoes, my friends. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I chose this flower in particular because it has heart-shaped petals and it's the day of love, so of course I was gonna choose this one. Now, I wanted a white flower, I knew that, so I just spray painted the metal, and I knew I also wanted a gold color. 
and I wanted pearls for the center. And of course, every shoe needs chains. So I thought, let's take an inexpensive shoe and Belgiumify it. So remember, if you create this design, make sure to tag me because you can do it to any fabric shoe. Also, this is a magnet. So if you stick a magnet onto the bow part of the shoe, you just glue it. You can embellish a bunch of flowers and pop them off and pop them on whenever you're in the mood for something new and you'll have a new shoe every day of the week. So it was so fun to create. I have so many more DIYs for you, so just stay tuned. Mwah!